Hi, welcome to the MuleSoft Tutorials. This is Akash. Uh, in, in previous video, we had discussed about the RESTful API and we have consumed one of the RESTful API. And in this video, we'll consume the SOAP service, so SOAP web service. So to start with, we'll create one new project. We'll go to File, Create New Project. Say SOAP API Proj. Click on Finish. This will create one new project SOAP API Proj and there's one XML SOAP API Proj XML. So to consume any of the SOAP service, we need one connector that is a web service consumer. Okay, so to start with, first I will drag one HTTP. I will configure this HTTP, save it. And now I will add one web service consumer. So this basically, this connector is used to consume any of the web service. So I'll click on add. Here we need to give the visual part, WSDL. So this is basically a web service descriptor language. So this is as similar to the RAML in for uh, MuleSoft and RESTful API. We have visual for SOAP services. So we, here we need to give the visual part. So before that, I need to search one of the public visuals. So you can just go and search on temperature convert web service free visual. So you'll in, in W3 school, in W3 school you can click. So there is, so this basically web service will convert Celsius into Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit into Celsius. So this is the service descriptor file. So this path I need to give. So this is the visual basically. So this contain all the operations. What is the input? What is the response we are getting? Here I will paste that. So automatically it fetches the service is temp convert. Here it will fetch the temp convert. So address it automatically fetches from the visual. I will click on OK and we'll save this. And here I need to select the operation Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's say I want Celsius to Fahrenheit. I will save it and now we need to give input there's a request to that soap service so to provide input we'll use a transformer message we'll drag the transform message and here this will automatically fetch us from the visual what is the input is required so I will double click over here this will automatically code got automatically generated and then here I need to give the Celsius let's say I want to convert 92 Celsius to Fahrenheit, 32 Celsius to Fahrenheit. I will save this. And now, so we have input, then we are good with the web service consumer. Or else what we can do, we'll give, we want to make it dynamic. So what we'll do, we'll do hash, sorry. We'll give one flow variable, one we'll create one flow variable. And we'll pass the temperature as an URI parameter temp and here I will set the variable temperature here I need to give message dot in inbound properties dot http URI param dot Stamp. I'll say this. Here we are given a stamp. Here we are storing the temperature into temperature variable, and the same variable I will use over here. Flowvars dot temperature. So this will convert my Celsius to Fahrenheit, and uh, here we have save. We'll save this. Yeah. Now we'll try to run this application run as mule application so it is trying to document from this visitor this auto deployed and we can see here uh, this successfully deployed on local we'll hit on from using student postman. 
will write localhost 881 and here we need to pass the temperature let's say I want to convert 80 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit I'll press send so here we can see uh, we have 176 is the from Celsius to Fahrenheit 176 okay so this looks like in XML if we want to convert that particular output as a Java we'll use uh, XML to Java or JSON let's say I want to put in JSON I will use XML to JSON converter here just I will just save this this will automatically deploy As we can see this automatically deployed and the uh, application got successfully deployed and started we'll hit this again and here we can see yeah this is the output we are getting in json so these are the few things celsius uh, is the result or if you want to transform again from json to some other format we can do it so here we have here we can access that JSON and then we can do let's say I want to make it a temperature I will do temperature and will basically give the JSON path so we can try this more you can try to consume some other SOAP services there are a few sub services which are available for currency conversion you can use that SOAP service and you can create your own application for con currency conversion so just need to go to the Google and to search currency currency convert web service free visual. You will get few visuals. You can use those and you can work on that. So this is the visual we have. You can use this visual. This will convert from USD to any of the currency to the any other currency. So you can try other things, other web services, try to consume them and you can create your own applications. So that's it for this video. Practice more, you'll get to know more about this web service consumer. So that's it for this video. Thank you.